day like this could use some beautiful music to go with it. Ah! Oh, stop! Ah! Oh, how oh, oh. I, I, I was just warming up. Here, let me try again. It's coming from the very place we're going. I think Floaty's right. Really? Where are we going? Hit it, Floaty. Oh, there's a city. There's a city. That's very pretty. Very pretty. With a party every year. <laughs> Check the map for our location. Will do. And you'll see that we are here. The city of New Orleans. That's right. Today we're following the music to the city of New Orleans, way down south at the bottom of the USA. Yes, sir. New Orleans is where jazz music was created. It's also famous for its food and having one of the biggest parties anywhere, the Mardi Gras. Whoa, I love parties, especially big ones. Then what are we waiting for? Floaty, take us down. You got it, going down. Please. Oh, yeah. Uh, here you go. Welcome to the United States of America in the city of New Orleans. <laughs> oh, hello. Why, uh, hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jackie, and this is my dad. Are you all new in town? We are, but it looks like we're making friends fast. Well, you shouldn't have any trouble making friends around here. Yep, it's Fat Tuesday. Y'all are just in time for Mardi Gras, the biggest party of the year. Uh, will there be food? Oh, yeah. You bet there will. Yummy! Oh, sorry. I'm Hoagie. Uh, this is Bernie, and... That's Lorna! <laughs> <laughs> We've met. Welcome to New Orleans. Thanks. This sure looks like a great party. True that. <laughs> There's no bigger or better party than Mardi Gras. Actually, the parade is supposed to start in a little bit. We were headed that way to join our crew. Would you like to join us? What a great idea, Dad. What do you guys think? Yeah. We'd love to. Absolutely. One question. What kind of crew are you talking about? Oh, oh. Why don't we try guessing, Hoagie? Yeah, good idea. Oh, I know. Like a crew on a boat? Nope. Hmm. Oh, you must be part of the crew of a spaceship. Yeah, but that's not it either. Right, Dad? Right. Follow me and I'll show you. All these floats are for the big Mardi Gras parade. Each float has a crew. Those are the people who make the floats and ride on. Wow, can we be a crew? Yeah, Floaty can be our float. Mm, well, I'm afraid you have to live in New Orleans to have your own crew. Most crews are made up of people whose families have been here for a long, long time. Oh. To be a part of it. Yeah, it looks like so much fun. I'm sorry. I wish there was something we could do. Actually, maybe there is something you can do for Mardi Gras. You got the coin, Jackie? Got it, Dad. Now, this is a special coin needed for Mardi Gras each year. It's a very important Mardi Gras tradition, and somebody needs to get it to our bakery at the end of the parade. Does that when he's excited. <laughs> All right, well, would you mind taking it to the end of the parade? Yeah, we need to work on our float, right, Dad? Are you kidding? We thought you'd never ask. So, we'll be you at our bakery at the end of the parade. See y'all later. Okay. We'll be there. Okie dokie. All this talk about the bakery is making me hungry. I wonder if there's anything to eat around here. I'll need some extra energy to make it to the other end of the parade. Huh? Mmm. They smell yummy. Mmm. Delicious. 
Thanks, mister. And happy Mardi Gras to you, too. People sure are friendly here at Mardi Gras. And colorful, too. Look at those guys. Hmm. Where do you think they got their feathers from? Well, it sure wasn't from me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so this is what I look like in yellow. <laughs> <laughs> it suits you, Lorna. <laughs> Let's get that coin to the bakery. Uh-oh, it's getting very busy around here. We better get a move on if we're going to get to the bakery. Oh, jewelry! Huh? <laughs> Whoa, so many people. Huh? Have you got that coin somewhere safe, Hoagie? Yeah, right here. Uh, Look out! Uh, uh, whoa! Oh no! Jackie's coin! It's getting away! <gasps> well, come on! We've got to get it back! <laughs> it's rolling too fast! Did you see where it went? I'm pretty sure it's somewhere on that float. How on earth are we going to get up there? Who <laughs> needs a lift? Floaty! Whoa! Look at all the people. This really is a party. <gasps> Look! There's the coin! Don't worry. I'll get it! I got it! Hey, guys, over here. How's it going? Jackie? Jackie? This is our float. What do you think? Pretty nice, right? Uh, great. Just, uh, ducky. Got the coin right here. <laughs> yep, it's not like we dropped it or anything. Uh, we're fine. We'll see you at the bakery. Uh, okay, see you there. <laughs> Whoops, not again. Go, Floaty, follow that coin. Jackie, we we sort of lost the coin. We, we dropped it, and it rolled down here and flew right into that big bowl of cake batter. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hoagie. Here, maybe this will cheer you up. Hey, what in the... I, I, I have the coin. Look, I found the coin. Of course you did. That's what you want. Whoever finds a coin will have a whole year of good luck. And you got it. Congratulations, Hoagie. So it... It was supposed to be there? Yep, it's all part of the party. Wow, New Orleans really does know how to throw a party. 
And it's not over yet. There's still a lot more party to go. I... I found the coin. Oh, there's a city. There's a city. That's very pretty. Very pretty. With a party every year. Oh, yeah. Come and celebrate with us. For some fun and lively cheer. One more time. Oh, there's a city. Wow, guys, what a beautiful day! It's spring, the perfect time for making new friends. That's a great idea, Hoagie. Our adventure is about to begin. Are we almost there? Yes, Lorna, we are almost there. Yup, and I know where we're going. It's going to be great. We're going to Kai Wait, do you smell that? What is it? I know. It smells like springtime. Yes, that's it. Spring. I'm all right. I'm all right. Guys, come on. Focus. We're here. Look. Oh, oh, I see it. Right there. That's where we're going today, guys. Cairo in Egypt. I'm so excited. I've always wanted to go to Egypt. Really? Why? Well, to see the pyramids at Giza, of course. And maybe even a mummy. Wait, uh, mummy? Uh-huh. What are we waiting for? Let's go. I want to see a mummy. Bernie, wait for me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Excuse me, coming through, sorry. Nadia, Nadia, slow down. Stop rushing. This way, Mama. Huh? Whoa! Nadia, Nadia, wait for me. Welcome to... Oh, oh dear. Oh, excuse me. Whoa! Passport, please. Oh, of course. Mahabatan, big fee akahira. Welcome to Cairo. <laughs> Thanks. Um, excuse me. H hello? Hmm? Oh, my. I'm terribly sorry, madam. Oh, no, that's quite all right. Mama, come on. What's keeping you? Oh, hello. Hello. Sorry. It was me keeping her. I was in the way. Oh, <laughs> assalamu alaikum. Ah, uh, uh, pardon? <laughs> Nadia, I don't think our new friends are from Egypt. Assalamu alaikum means peace be upon you. It's one of the ways we say hello here in Egypt. Oh, okay. Al salamu alaikum. I'm Hoagie. This is Lorna, Bernie, and that's Floaty. Wow, look at all these people. Is the park always this crowded? Not always. Today is Sham El Nasim. It's a celebration of spring. Aha! I knew I smelled spring. And we're going on a picnic. Do you like picnics? I do. I love picnics. Oh, wait! Would you all like to come? Whoa! Whoa. Hey! Sorry! So, can they come, Mama? Can they please? <sighs> of course, Nadia. But we still have quite a lot to do. Um, excuse me, ma'am, but maybe we can help. That's a great idea. Great. You can count on us. Right, guys? Right. right. OK, what do we need first? The first thing we need is physique. Physique? No problem. Uh, sorry, who's physique? <laughs> <laughs> Fesich isn't a who. Fesich is fermented fish with, hmm, how can I say this politely? A powerful aroma. It's a little bit stinky. <laughs> okay, uh, well, where can we find some uh, fesich? We can find it where you can find almost anything. The souk. What's the souk? You'll see. Come on. Oh, huh? no. I knew I'd forget something with all this rushing around. What is it, Mama? I forgot the carpet for our picnic. I'll have to go all the way back home. 
I don't know how we're ever going to get to the picnic spot in time. I'd be happy to take you if you'd like. It's the least I can do after practically landing on you. Oh, thank you. How nice of you. Oh, here, take the basket. Great. I'll take Hoagie, Lorna, and Bernie to the souk. Come on. Floaty and I will meet you there soon. Wow, look at all of the things for sale. How will we find the physique? Just follow your nose. There, I think I found it. Ew. Al-salamu alaikum. Pretty good, Hoagie. Fasik, please. How do I say thank you? In Egypt, we say shukran. Okay, shukran. Okay, so what's next? What's the matter, Lorna? What's the matter? Don't you smell that, Hoagie? Yeah, pew! Well, the smell oh. might be kind of um smelly, but it tastes good. I'm sorry, what smell? <laughs> Come on, you guys. There's more stuff we need to get. Huh? Hey, wait! Hmm? Is that the, the, the Mummy Museum? It's actually called the Egyptian Museum, but yeah, this is where the mummies are. Oh, please, guys, please! Can we just look for a little bit? Ooh. I don't know. We're supposed to meet my mom for our picnic soon, and that line is pretty long. I'll go and ask how long the wait is. Um, excuse me. Ooh. Wow! Shukran, everyone! Thank you, everybody! That sure was nice of them. Look, the line's gone. I guess they could tell we're in a hurry. Looks like the mummy room is closed for cleaning. Oh my, it's gotten so late and we still need to pick up some things from the market. <gasps> we have to go, oh. come on! But I really wanted to see a... Come, come on. on! Okay, I'm coming. Okay, onions, beans, hmm, I think that's it. Come on, we gotta hurry. Mommy, Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know me. Well, at least we got to see a lot of Cairo. Yes. <sighs> but now we're a lot farther from the park, and it's almost time for the picnic. Oh, there you all are. Oh, we've been looking all over for you. 
Sorry, Mama. You were right. We went to the museum and we lost track of time. Now we'll never get to the park in time for the picnic. Aw, oh, that's too bad. I'm really hungry after all that running from the mummy. Oh, all right. Well, I suppose we'll just have to have the picnic here instead. Right here? In the middle of the city? But Shaman Nassim is supposed to be all about being outside, where it's green. Well, Nadia, I don't know what else to do. Hmm. Well, you know, I might have an idea that could get us there on time. Wow! What a great way to get to a picnic. Hold on, everyone. We're almost there. Almost where, Floaty? Almost here. On Sham and Nassim, we decorate eggs to celebrate the arrival of spring. <laughs> you know, I never asked, what does the name Sham El Nassim mean? It means sniffing the air. Because if you do this at this time of the year, you can smell springtime. I always tell Nadia, no winter lasts forever and no spring skips its turn. We cannot rush things. Things take the time they take. <sighs> Spring really is in the air. <laughs> ah, and I can't think of a better way to welcome spring than with new friends. For seek anyone? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh well, more for me. <laughs> Hoagie goes. The Kalantan. <sighs> is it my imagination or is it really hot today? Boy, oh boy, it is a hot day, isn't it? But I was smart enough to save something special for a day just like today. Really? You have something special for a hot day like today? Yes, I do. I'd be happy to share. My wonderful, cold, tasty ice cream cone! <gasps> Oops, sorry! Um, thanks for sharing, I guess. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> well, at least it's my favorite flavor. Where are we headed today? Somewhere you're really gonna like. Today, we're going to Malaysia a small tropical country in Southeast Asia. More than half of the country is covered in jungle and rainforest. You can even find the world's largest flower here, the Raffalasia. Oh, cute. There are two main bits of land in Malaysia, meaning there are lots of long, sandy beaches, too. Oh, so we're going to the beach today. No, we're going to Kuala Lumpur the capital of Malaysia. It is famous for its shiny twin towers called the Patronus Towers. I can't wait to get there. Yeah, I would think we'd be able to see those big towers by now. <laughs> you won't see them yet, Barney. We have a lot of jungle to fly over first. Mm. Ah! Uh-oh, guys, I think we have a problem. What's the matter, Floaty? I think I heard a pop. Oh, no, it's a hole. It was super duper hot under there. Plus, it smells like dirty socks. Salamat Puggy, passport please. Oh, yes, of course. Thank you, and enjoy your stay in Malaysia. So, Huggy, is this Kuala Lumpur? I'm not sure. It looks like some sort of jungle village. <laughs> Hi there. Did I say something funny? Not really. It's just that I've never heard anyone call my kampong a jungle village. But I guess in a way it is. Kampong? What's a kampong? Is it part of Kuala Lumpur? <laughs> Kuala Lumpur? That's a long way away. Kampong means village in Malay. You're in my village. So this isn't Kuala Lumpur? 
Nope, you are in my kampong in Kelantan, which is on the east coast of Malaysia. Oh, no! Those holes in Floaty's balloon must have brought us down much too early. Oh, don't worry. You like it here. It's not a city, but it's still fun. Oh, my name's Rosa, by the way. Hi, Rosa. I'm Hoagie. These are my best friends, Bernie and Lorna. Hello. Hello. Oh, and Floaty's under that balloon. Howdy do. Oh, dear. It looks like your balloon has gone flat. Hmm, your balloon is flatter than flat, Floaty. I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon. Well, here in my kampong, there are many different people who do many different things. Maybe we can find a way to help your friend. Really? Would you do that for us? Sure. I wonder if there's anyone in the kampong who makes balloons. Well, I don't know about that. But we can visit some of my neighbors and see if anyone can help. My kampong is full of people who make and create things. My mama makes things too. That's great. What does she make? Oh, she's a brilliant artist. She makes things that... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. Does she make statues? Nope. Guess again. Does she paint beautiful paintings? Close, but not quite. My mama's art is very traditional. Oh, come on. Tell us, please. Okay. <laughs> My mama paints fabric. She makes batik. But what? Batik. It's a special way to make patterns on fabric. Wow! So, shall I take you to meet my mama? That sounds great, Rosa. And please, do show us around your beautiful, uh, kampong. Hopefully, we can find someone who can fix Floaty. I certainly hope so. Okay, let's go. We'll be back in a flash, Floaty. Um, I'll just wait here. I just love this Malaysian hospitality. This is my friend Amin. He has been making beautiful Malaysian kites for many years. These are so great! What do you call them? Wow! I know! Wow! They are cool! But what is the name of this kind of kite? <laughs> no, I'm telling you that the Malay word for this type of kite is wow. Oh, so the wow is really wow! <laughs> How does he make them? It's made from bamboo and string. And then it's covered in paper, which has been painted in beautiful colors. These kites are so cool! I wonder if this one can fly! Oops! <laughs> I guess I'll stick to hopping and let Floaty, Lorna, and Bernie do the flying. Oh, Floaty, I wonder... <laughs> I guess not. Hey, look! They're carving toys! This is Uncle Ayman and Auntie Wani. They have been making wood carvings for many years. Hey! Woo! How does this work? <laughs> I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm sorry, Lorna. I didn't mean to send you into the air like that. Oh, but hang on. Maybe we could use this to help Floaty fly again. <laughs> that won't work. Terimakase. Goodbye. What does terimakase mean? <laughs> It means thank you in Malay. Oh. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Got it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Bernie, to me. Wow, amazing. Keep it up, Hoagie. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Whoa. <laughs> seen that done yeah. in a game of Sepak Raga before. <laughs> Dolly! It tastes weird. <laughs> it's not for eating, Hoagie. It's made from rattan, a type of palm. <laughs> <laughs> Hoagie always likes to try new things to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie. Hmm. But I wonder if this could help Floaty. 
Nope. <sighs> Not helpful at all. All this wooden stuff sure is beautiful. Is your mother's art this beautiful? I'll show you. Come on, it's my house next. Oh, Rosa. Hello, Mama. These are my new friends, Hoagie, uh -huh. Bernie, and Lorna. Salamat patang. That means good afternoon. Salamat, Salamat patang, patang to, to you, too. too. Patang to you, too. Oh, I'll be right back. I have something I think you might like. Oh, my. This is really pretty. My mama made them all. Who's thirsty? Terry Makasi. Oh, yummy. I'm nuts for coconuts. Oh, oh Lorna. Lorna. Oh, in this heat, these coconuts really hit the spot. So, Mrs. Um, Rosa's mom, how do you make such beautiful fabric? Yeah, something this pretty must be really hard to make. Well, first you take some fabric. Then you make a pattern on the fabric using wax. Now this can be done with a stamp, like this. Or you can draw with a special wax pen, like this. Now once the wax design is finished, the fabric is dipped in dye. And when it is all dry again, we wash off the wax. And when the wax is gone, you are left with a wonderful design, like this. That's so clever! Really clever! So, what happens to all these pieces of fabric that you paint? What do you do with them next? Well, I make sarongs and dresses and shirts and... Well, you can make anything out of it. Oh! Can you make me a new hat? Of course! As I said, you can make anything! Anything? Anything. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Absolutely! <laughs> Well done, guys. I love my brand new balloon. Anything for you, Floaty. And I see you've made a new friend, too. <laughs> he was a real lifesaver. Aw, he's so cute. Ahem. Isn't anyone going to compliment my new hat? It's genuine Malaysian batik. Yes, you're looking almost as good as me. Hey, you cheeky monkey. Come back here. <laughs> Well, it looks like you're not ready to leave yet. That's fine by me. I can't think of a nicer place to be. Get back here, you funny little crab! Hoagie goes to Gwilin. Look at the sky. It's so blue, it's like being underwater. Yeah, I feel like I'm swimming through some kind of tropical lagoon. And I don't even have to get wet. Ah! I'm all right, I'm all right. I guess I can't just float. Where are we, Floaty? We're in southern China. We're just to the south of Hunan. Wow, from up here, it all looks as pretty as a picture. It sure does. In fact, where we're headed today, a place called Guilin, it's considered to be the most beautiful area in all of China. Yeah, that river whirls and swirls like a fancy blue ribbon. Oh, that's the Li River. It starts up in the mountains. Then it flows from Guilin all the way to the city of Yangshuo. Oh wow. my goodness, so beautiful. Ooh. Actually, that's the smell of the sweet osmanthus trees. They grow all over Guilin. In fact, that's what Guilin means. The forest of sweet osmanthus. Well, I can't wait to see it up close. It's so pretty, I could do a painting of it. Me too. That sounds like a great idea, right, Hoagie? Uh, yeah, sure. That'll be good. Okay, then. Prepare for landing. <laughs> Passport, please. Oh, sure. Here you go. And welcome to China. What kind of exercise are they doing anyway? It's called Tai Chi. They look so graceful. I bet I can do it too. 
are my friends, uh -huh. Bernie and Lorna. And this is Floaty. Hi, everyone. Is this your first time visiting Guilin? Yes, it is. And it's <laughs> beautiful here. Pretty as a picture. Well, there is a famous saying, East or West, Guilin scenery is the best. Whoever said that sure oh. was right. Is that what you're drawing? Uh-huh. Want to see? Ah. Wow. You drew that? You're a real artist. Thanks. I love art. I want to be a painter like my grandfather. He's famous for his landscape paintings. Wow! Cool! I know, and in fact, his paintings are going to be in an art festival later this afternoon, and I was going to go. Whoa! I love drawing and painting and making art and ah. stuff, too! We were just talking about how great it would be to draw or paint this beautiful place. Well, I was just about to do some art myself. Would you like to join me? I have a lot of supplies you can use. Awesome! Oh. Thanks, Mihua. Oh, painting's not for me. I'm just a balloon. <laughs> but I can certainly appreciate the view from above. Anyway, I'll be up there if you need me. See you later, Floaty! What about you, Hoagie? Hmm? Do you want to paint something? Um, well, I don't have a brush, and... Oh, here, I have one you can borrow. Or paint, or paper, so thanks, but no. Don't worry, I have plenty. Here you go. <laughs> wow, thanks, Meihua. And if you don't know what to paint, there's tons of stuff around here. In fact, I know the perfect place. Come on, I'll show you. Women doing laundry would make a great painting. I know, and they said they'd love to be our models. In that case, I'm gonna make a sculpture, and I'm gonna call it something really arty, like women doing laundry. <laughs> I'm gonna paint a picture. feeling in them. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what about yours, Hoagie? Yes, Hoagie, can we see your picture? No, I mean, I haven't finished. Oh. I, I, I just... Whoa, you mean you haven't even started. What's wrong, Hoagie? Yeah, was the sun in your eyes? I guess, um, people doing laundry isn't what I want to paint. Huh? That's weird. Why not? It's okay. I could show you more stuff. In fact, I know another place I think you're gonna love. Come on! That man with the bird looks interesting. What's he doing? Oh, he's a fisherman. Really? But what's he got a bird with him for? Well, fishermen in Guilin do things a little bit different than most. Just watch. <laughs> See, the huh? fisherman and the bird work huh? together. <laughs> wow! It's amazing! Cool! <laughs> Do you think we can paint the fisherman and his bird? Yay! This is gonna be so great! Right, Hoagie? Won't they make a great picture? Um, I guess. Pictures, Lorna and Bernie. Can we hmm? see yours too, Hoagie? Well, um. That's funny. Why didn't you paint anything? I don't know. I guess I just don't feel very inspired. Really? I can't believe none of this inspires you. Hmm. Okay, I got it. I have to get to the art festival anyway. Do you want to come? Yeah. Cool. We'd love to. We could take a boat trip down the Lee River to get there. On the river that looks like a blue ribbon? 
Oh, yeah, the river was really pretty. Artists have been inspired by it for hundreds of years. It's my number one favorite place of all. I bet there'll be tons of things you want to paint, Hoagie. He's right. Come on, Meihua, lead the way. Uh -huh. Wow, the Lee River is so pretty. I could draw a million pictures of those stone cliff things. They're called cars, and there's a legend about them. Oh. A princess used magic to create hundreds of animals to help the farmers. When their job was done, they turned it to cars. Amazing! Ogi, are you painting? <sighs> no. Does your hand hurt? Is it your brush? Do you want to borrow mine? Or share my paints? I have lots of great colors. Hoagie, I'm sorry. I guess I couldn't show you anything that inspired you enough to paint. No, it's not that. <sighs> it's not that I haven't seen anything good. Wheeling and the Lee River are beautiful. I love it here. So what's the problem? The problem is... I'm not an artist. Really? But Hoagie, everybody can paint. Not me. I can't even draw a straight line. But drawing a straight line isn't important. Your grandfather is a real artist, and he's going to look at our pictures. I don't want him seeing anything I painted. My grandfather's really smart about art. You'll like him. And speaking of which, it's getting late. We'd better hurry if you want to make it to the art festival. Yeah, OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah, over here. Hey, Meihua, is that you? That's your grandfather, uh -huh. the famous artist? But he's so old. Huh? Can he even see? His eyes aren't what they used to be, but he can still paint. He loves art. Come, I want you to meet my new friends. We all made artwork. This is my friend Bernie. He made this painting. See, this is the Lee River. Yes, I can make out some oh. bright yellow. That's the sun bouncing off the water. Very good. So much energy. Thank you. But where is yours? Um, I didn't paint anything. I see. Was there anything you wanted to paint? Well, the Kaas Mountains were very beautiful. Did Meihua tell you about the magical princess? The one who made all the animals to help the farmers? That is the legend. But in my version, do you know why she made all those animals? Why? Because creating things expresses something about you. Your art is unique, just like you. And once you start, it's hard to stop. Meihua, do you think I could borrow a brush and some paints? Of course you can! Yay! Wonderful. These dark, energetic shapes I can make out. They must be the cast mountains. Gee, thanks. Oh, thank you, Hoagie. It's like your painting took me there. R really? Yes. In fact, I know just what to do with all these beautiful works of art. <laughs> it's been a great day here in Guilin. It sure has. Guilin is as pretty as a picture. And your pictures are as pretty as Guilin. <laughs> <laughs> to Cape Town. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, how do you like my painting? Uh, not, not bad, Bernie. Are you meant to know what it is? Well, the wind kept blowing my paper. I kind of splodged a few spots. Wow! Oh, sorry. A <laughs> little bit of turbulence. My painting! Oh, well, it can't look any worse. I know something else that'll impress you all. Today's destination, Cape Town. Oh, really? It's a city in South Africa. Oh, there's the harbor. And out to sea, you can go whale watching. That's Table Mountain. Wow. That would need a big tablecloth. <laughs> <laughs> and if you listen out, you might hear them practicing for today's menstrual carnival.
And here's the Victoria and Alfred waterfront. Oh, Hoagie, take a look at these. Wow! <laughs> these are famous South Africans. This one is Nelson Mandela, who became president. Hello and welcome. <gasps> Passport, please. Oh, you surprised me. Here you go. Welcome to South Africa. So what are we going to see first? I really want to see the view from up there. I want to go to the Minstrel Carnival Floaty talked about. Well, it might not be happening today, but... I want to see the penguins. Penguins? <laughs> oh. They live in the cold mm. in Antarctica. But it says here... You might have better luck seeing other stuff from the ocean, Bernie, like whales. I want to go whale watching. Penguins! Minstrel Carnival! Table Mountain! Penguins! Minstrel Carnival! Table Mountain! Whale watching! Huh? huh? Hey, excuse me. What huh? is it? I was trying to take a photo of that butterfly, but you scared it away. Uh, what butterfly? Exactly. It flew off again. Ugh, we're sorry. We're just so excited to be in Cape Town, we couldn't decide what to do first. Was it a special butterfly? Yeah, I was getting a picture for my mom. She's a scientist and writing a report on it. It's called a dark <gasps> opal butterfly. They're becoming very rare and hard to find. I feel bad that we spoiled your photo. Maybe we could help you take another one? But we'll miss the carnival. And the penguins. And the whale watching. And climbing Table Mountain, I know. But we need to put this right. You're right. Yes. OK. Wow, thank you. That would be great. I'm Hoagie. And this is Bernie, Hi. Lorna, and Floaty. I'm Dennis. Great to meet you. I'd love to show Cape Town to all of you afterwards to say thank you. Great. Really? Hey. Thanks. Oh. Hey, this dark opal butterfly, it's not red with black spots, is it? Yes, how did you know? Because it's right there, <laughs> after it! Oh no, it's flying over water! No problem, hop aboard, everyone! <laughs> nope, nope! Those wings flap so fast! Missed it again! Whoa! Oh, sorry, it's just this butterfly is so fluttery. It's landing on that rock! That's great! Okay, nice and steady now, Floaty. Let me just line this up. All right, Mr. Butterfly, you ready for your close-up? Whoa! Wow, it was a whale! Wow! <laughs> Hmm? Hmm? Afraid I only got the whale. It's a fantastic picture of it, though. But where's the butterfly? There it is! How did it get all the way over there so quickly? <gasps> and are those the penguins? Oh, don't be silly. Hold on now. I'm too big to follow the butterfly through the streets. <laughs> I'll catch up with you later. I'm going to go see if I can find that whale again. <laughs> See you later, Floaty. Come on, we mustn't let it get away. Just around this corner. Wow, it's the Minstrel Carnival. Cool, but it's too crowded to get through. The butterfly's getting away. Hmm. I've got an idea. What's that? Belong here. Quick time! Hop two, three, four. Hop two, three, four. The penguins? Don't be silly. Come on, <laughs> keep up. Hold still, Bernie. Again. It's a great photo of all of us, though. It's not exactly my best side. Hey, nice beach. <gasps> Thanks. It's called Boulder's Beach. Boulder's Beach? That's where the penguins live. 
penguins. He thinks penguins live here. <gasps> huh? Whoa! Penguins! Penguins everywhere! Have we followed the butterfly to Antarctica? <laughs> These are African penguins. They prefer warmer weather than their Antarctic cousins. Oh, come on! There's the butterfly! <gasps> of a penguin, though. Hey, there's the butterfly! This is the Kirsten Bosch National Botanical Garden. This is where my mom works. It says here that it has a spectacular tree canopy walkway. Wow! Sounds amazing! I wouldn't want to miss that. <sighs> where did it go? Don't say we've lost it after all that! Oh, hi, Dennis. Who are your new friends? Hi, Mom. This is Hoagie, Lorna, and Bernie. Hi! Hello. We're trying to get a photo of the butterfly for you, but we've lost it again. Who knew butterflies were so fluttery? <laughs> Never mind. Thank you for trying. Hmm, you all look exhausted. Have some drawers. <laughs> My favorite! It's a dried sausage. Was it left out in the sun? <laughs> the drying process preserves it, so it keeps for a long time. Mm. This one won't be kept for long. Whoa! It's getting windy! I'm glad you came here. Lots of these plants are very special, as they only grow in this part of the world. They're called fine boss. They certainly look fine to me! <laughs> <laughs> It's a shame we didn't get a photo of the butterfly. But maybe we'll get to climb Table Mountain now. Hey, is that the butterfly? Huh? Where? Right over there. Come on, it went this way. <sighs> the butterfly. Okay. Are you sure you saw a butterfly, Lorna? Well, I saw something flutter by, so... Where? Huh? I see it again! Where? I don't see it! Me neither. Well, it's gone now. Come on, it went this way. Phew! I wish it would flutter by in a more downward direction. <sighs> Look, it's landed on that leaf. Oh. Yes! Hooray! Hooray! All right! You got the photo! Uh, not quite. Oh, oh no! We've been chasing one of our drawers wrappers. Hmm. What? I'm sorry. It looked like a butterfly to me. It kept fluttering by. Well, maybe it's not so bad. Look! We we did it! We climbed Table Mountain! Though we never got a photo of the butterfly for you, Dennis. I know. But hey, I've made some new friends instead. You're right! Floaty got to see the whales! And Lorna, you got to see the carnival! And Barney... Hoagie, stop! Look! Please don't interrupt me. This is important. Hoagie, the butterfly is on your head. Huh? Uh... Hi, guys. Floaty! What? How are you getting on with finding that butterfly? Oh, sorry. Come on, everyone. We can still do this. You're not getting away again. We found our secret home! There are loads! Maybe we were following more than one today. That would explain how it seemed to get from one place to another so fast. <laughs> Let's get this photo! Wow! As well as a lovely photo, I can write in my report that the dark opal butterfly is not so rare after all. All thanks to you and your friends, Hoagie. <laughs> now, I expect you're hungry after all that climbing. Drawers! <laughs> Aha! <laughs> huh. mm. oh. Thanks, Mom. Huh? Just hold on to your wrappers. I've done quite enough chasing for one day. <laughs> 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 Huh? 
Hoagie goes to Havana. Last night, they were sailing across the ocean looking for treasure. <gasps> treasure? Yup. So today, I'm gonna be just like a pirate. I'm gonna talk, sing, and act like a pirate. And maybe then, I'll even find treasure like a pirate. Well, count me in too then. Aye, aye, Captain. Me three. Well, you're in luck, guys, because today, we're floating over the Caribbean Sea. What does that have to do with pirates? Long ago, pirates used to roam the Caribbean, stealing and swapping treasure. Let's land there, then. Well, there are 28 island nations in the Caribbean, with over 7,000 islands in total. Whoa, which one will we visit? I was thinking we'd go to Cuba. There are beaches and caves and all kinds of places to hide treasure in Cuba. Wow, real pirates. I'm sure there'll be treasure there, then. Let's land in Cuba. I'm sure they be treasure on that tile. Ooh. Passport, please, por favor. Thank you. Huh? Treasure. There's probably loads buried all over the place. <laughs> Wait, what did I trip over? <gasps> oh. It's a key. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder what it opens. Oh, maybe they can help you. Ahoy! I'm Hoagie, and these are my friends, Lorna, uh -huh. Bernie, and Floaty. Hola, I'm Natalia, and this is my abuela, my grandma. What brings you to our beautiful island of Cuba? We're here looking for treasure, and we found this key. <gasps> That's my key. I haven't seen that in years. So do you know what it opens? I do. It opens a treasure box. Treasure? Where is it? You know, I don't remember, but... I do remember making a map. Do you still have it? I think I do. I'll be right back. I can't believe it. Real treasure on the island? We should search for it together. Deal. The more pirates, <laughs> the better. Found it. Which X shows where the treasure is buried? Hmm, I don't remember. I guess you should search each one. You never know what you'll find. Sounds like a plan to me. I wish you luck on this noble search, Natalia. Um, okay, Abuela. Gracias. A noble search indeed. Ahoy, my mateys! This is right here on Santa Maria Beach. Then what are we waiting for? Let's dig! <laughs> Sorry, Floaty. Huh? We didn't mean to get sand on you. It's okay, but I don't want any sand getting in my balloon, so I'll go float around a bit. Oh, and I'll keep an eye out for pirates. Arg! Thanks, Floaty! <laughs> Arg! Look, guys! I found another seashell! Ooh, I think that's the prettiest one yet! <sighs> we found a ton of seashells, but no treasure. Maybe we should search somewhere else on the map. Let's look at the Salt Dauphino Falls next. Let's find the noble treasure, me hearties! <laughs> me name is Hoagie the Pirate, and I sail the ocean's blue. I'm searching for treasure near when I'll share it with you and you and you! Wow. wow! The Salto Fina Waterfall is the tallest waterfall in Cuba. If I were a pirate, I'd hide my treasure here. Let's find it! Ah, ah, ah. Not gonna get wet! Ah, ah. Not gonna get wet! Ah. I'm okay! Ooh, but I think I found some treasure! What did you find? Gold? Rubies? No, it's a rock. Aww. Okay, but 
that it's a really pretty rock. Ooh, yeah, it is, and so smooth. Hey, there are more pretty rocks down here, too. Cool. Well, we didn't find any treasure. But we found a lot of these pretty rocks. Yeah, but no treasure. Well, I'm not ready to give up on our treasure hunt yet. Let's check the next X on the map. The next X is on the Martin and Fierno cave. Arg! Let's find that cave, mateys. There's definitely gonna be treasure in there. Aye! Here we are. <gasps> Look at this cave. This must be where the treasure is hidden. Uh, it seems a little dark in there, don't you think? It does seem a bit gloomy. Don't worry, guys. I know where we can get just this kind of special equipment we need. <laughs> okay, turn on your helmet lights now. Whoa! What are all those pointy rock thingies? Oh, I know that. I read it in my book. The ones that are pointed up from the floor are stalagmites. And the ones that are hanging down from the ceiling are stalactites. They're both made from minerals and dripping water. It takes many, many years. Wow, so it's still growing. Oh, look at this. Treasure. Yeah. yeah. It's like some kind of crystal. It almost looks Ooh. like a flower. My abuela told me about these. These crystals are called gypsum flowers because of the way the crystal formed. Aha! Pirate Lorna found some more flowery crystals over here! I've never seen anything like this. Amazing! But where's the treasure box? Oh, no. I was sure it would be here. Don't worry, Hoagie. There's still one more X on this map. It's in the city of Havana. Then that must be where the treasure is hidden. Come on! <laughs> We've searched every X on the treasure map. How could we miss it? Maybe your abuela was wrong. Well, I guess we should go back to the beach. Hang on, something's sparkling. Gold? Mm -hmm. Is it gold? Really? <gasps> we found it! Oh, no guys, that's not treasure. People like to toss coins in the fountain. Eh, uh, why? Well, they think that if they make a wish, then toss a coin in the water, the wish will come true. Well. Why don't you try it? Great idea! You know what to wish for, Natalia. Yeah, do it! Oh, okay. I wish I could find Abuela's treasure. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, no treasure. Isn't there someone we can complain to about this fountain being out of order? I don't think it works that way, Lorna. Well, Mrs. Fountain here isn't giving us any clues. <sighs> I don't think the treasure is here either. Maybe it's just time to give up. <laughs> She's not called Mrs. Fountain. She's called the noble Havana. Havana was named after her. Wait, did you say the noble Havana? Yeah, that's what we call her. Isn't that what your grandma said before we left the beach? About a noble search or something? <gasps> You're right. She said, I wish you luck on your noble search. She must have been giving us a clue to find this fountain. Then this has to be the spot. Come on, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Look, huh? what's that? <laughs> this must be the treasure. Open Yay. it, open it, open it. <laughs> Abuela has the key. How goes it, pirate? Funny. We need to get back to Abuela fast. Well, hop in, ye landlubbers. I'll get you to the beach in no time. your treasure map and found the treasure. I knew you would. Will you open it with your key? Yes, of course. I've huh. been waiting a long time to see this treasure again. It's a necklace? 
Oh, this isn't just any necklace. It's a necklace made of treasures from all over this wonderful island of Cuba. You made this? I did. When I was Natalia's age, I found these shells right here on Santa Maria Beach. We found some of those too! And I found these smooth stones at the Saltofino waterfall, where I would play and explore. Yeah! We found them too! And those crystals! We found them as well! That's right, Hoagie. I always treasured my necklace when I was your age. It reminded me of everything I love about this beautiful island. And now, you can make your own necklaces, too. And you'll never forget all the wonderful places you visited here. So we really did find treasure after all. Yay! Yay! Me hearties! Ahoy! Ahoy! <laughs> <laughs>